Careful. Can we put that up yeah. again? Because there's one other aspect. The only thing that's down on the bottom is Trump on that tank. Guess who the tank is targeting? All of those negative figures. All right, that's all right. true. Yeah. That's, yeah, exactly. All of it the right. same. Yeah. Um, and of course, you true. see the CNN sucks there. So well. when you see a van that's covered, by the way, pictures were taken of this van out on the street before he was mm -hmm. captured. This isn't just since the van was on the flatbed. So people noticed this van in the community. And they noticed this, yep. how it's littered with these, with all of this political speech, hate speech. And they noticed this, yep. how it's littered with these, with all of this political speech, hate speech, political speech, hate speech. So here we are, day after the big bomber, big bomber roundup, right? You saw all that? Following the big news, oh boy. Mainstream media telling you a bad guy, right? This bad guy, bad guy living in his van. It's better than his mother's basement, right? He's living in a van. <laughs> Got all those Trump stickers, right? He's no patriot. He's not an American. He's a he's hate speech. He's got a van full of hate speech. Political hate speech. Political speech. Hate speech. Hate speech. Is it hate speech? I don't know, man. That's where we are right now. Remember? I mean, look, we expected the the we expect we expected the corporate media to lean into the narrative that this is all politics, right? It's not really about it's not really about a guy living in a van with a you know and sends a couple of bombs out. It's about politics. It's about swinging an election, right? November sixth, the big election. That's what it's really about, right? Right? And we expect the New York Times, we expect the you know, the Washington Post to come out and coming out strong with all the hit pieces, right? I don't know, you could go to their site and you'll see three hit pieces, four hit pieces. It's windy out today, hold on a second. Right? They're lining up the hit pieces, right? But TYT? The Young Turks? Um, he is a registered Republican. Now that is true. That by itself doesn't necessarily mean that he still is or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, but his car had a few hints on it. Everything else on there is ridiculous depictions of Donald Trump riding uh, tanks and something about youth soccer recruits for Trump. And they noticed this, how it's littered with these, with all of this political speech, hate speech. And so um, people were taking pictures before and noticed, man, uh, this guy might be a little bit off. There's an obsession here. Mm -hmm. yeah. Have I been have I been missing in action that long? That TYT now believes that freedom of spe speech and expression is now hate speech. I mean, the guy's van, right? When you look at the van, he's got pictures of the president, the vice president, the elected American president. Trump on a tank, you know, a big man on a tank. People like that sort of thing, you know? Country singers, young children playing soccer, right? It's hate speech. Yeah, of course you got the discourse. Hillary Clinton getting a, you know, <laughs> the tank pointing at Hillary Clinton. <laughs> but that's, see, that's political lampooning, you know, uh, Obama on a, on a on a tricycle, little child. It's lampooning and it's it's fun speech, right? But 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 the lunatic left is calling it hate speech. I'm I mean you know I watched it. I'm like, wow, I'm offended by that because Tyt used to be some some tough guys. You know that was a tough station with. Um, you know, important. They were important in the conversation. And now they've joined the ranks of Jake Tapper. And so why don't we go to the video, uh, CNN, which again was targeted not only by a bomb, but was also on his van, um, happened to have some video of him previously engaging in politics. Back with the breaking news, uh, you're looking at new video showing the suspect, Caesar Sayak, holding a, a sign that says CNN sucks, as well as a lot of other nonsense in there. He's at a Trump rally in February.
The top line is the sort of Trump Pence line, and sort of below that um, are, are all the targets of, of, of these. Uh, yeah, it's 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 an interesting um, just juxtaposition of sort of the, the hierarchy and the mm -hmm. sort of rest. See, that has nothing to do with the bombing. It has nothing to do with the incident. They turned it into the politics of the of the guy and his lifestyle. They turn it into social issues. It's not about the the facts because they simply don't have the facts. All they got is what an FBI is telling them about a guy. Right? They didn't even get his name right. The name isn't even correct. Right? Caesar. Caesar. Who the hell is the guy? Let's find out who he is, you know? But TYT has taken the taking the, the, the bait and join the ranks of the disgraced you know corporate media before we found this individual there was a great deal of conspiracy theorizing coming not from the fringe or if it's from the fringe the fringe is now all the way around um, you had people on Fox News the day of the initial bomb saying that these were fake or that it was a left wing plot. Lou Dobbs was saying that, uh, Rush Limbaugh was saying that. Not just the crazies on the internet and all that, but that it took over the right basically. Not just the crazies on the internet and all that. Um, some though are doubling down and as JR said, some are saying, uh, no, I saw in a picture uh, the stickers looked too bright, um, the van was too clean. And so this is obviously a CIA deep state plot. See how money changes everything? They're politically correct. Oh no, you got all the you got a fine panel, you got your you know, your gay, male, white man with the black a woman. You gotta give everybody their their space, right? There's no more merit. Who's the best guy for the job? No, it's you gotta have a black and a and a, and a homosexual and a, and a woman. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's just about a, you know, it's a guy. I mean, if, if this guy actually did this on his own merit, you know, the bomber delivered 15 bombs, two of them on foot to CNN and Ran upstate to Soros and delivered it. Or we'll hired a courier. You know, and there's 13 U United States Postal workers that were carrying bombs in their bags. And not a single one of them has come forward. Right? If the story is true. And the guy is really that bad. Operate, he's that He's that bad in a, and, and is that effective of an operator you know then then so be it string them up you know uh, lock them up but it does seem that there's something more to it and to dismiss the idea that 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 there is a mind control element to what is going on is 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 naive and short-sighted um some though are doubling down and as jr said some are saying uh no i saw in a picture uh the stickers looked too bright um the van was too clean and so this is obviously a cia deep state plot and so this is obviously a cia deep state plot to think that our government doesn't target mentally ill people to carry out vile and you know, a foul event like this. Because they certainly do and will, right? My hair blowing in the wind. So anyway, that's all I wanted to say about it. Is it is it is political speech now hate speech? Do I hate you? Do you hate me for political speech? I'm not allowed to I'm not allowed to to, 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 to draw a picture of Hillary Clinton with a target on her face because I hate because I don't like her because because I think she's corrupt and she's a you know she she breaks the law and doesn't give a shit about people anymore that's that's hate speech no that's that's what we call freedom of speech it's political discourse and it's a good thing 
And they noticed this, yep. how it's littered with these, with all of this political speech, hate speech. 